Are you a React developer looking to deploy your project on the cloud? Then this video is for you, where I will share how you can use Amazon's Amplify framework to set up continuous deployment for your project. But before we begin, I would like to invite you to support me in my project of creating free programming tutorial videos by subscribing to my Patreon page. Link is available in the description box below. Let us begin. We need to install the following prerequisites to do this exercise. Node.js, npm, and git. And we have to have an AWS account. Here are the steps for this exercise. Configure the Amplify CLI into a local machine. Create a React project. Amplify the React project. Add Amplify authentication module. Publish and host the React app into AWS Amplify infrastructure. Let's continue by installing the AWS Amplify library into our local machine. Open your terminal and type the following commands. npm install dash g which means global at AWS dash Amplify forge slash CLI and hit enter. Next up, let's configure the AWS Amplify library. Again, back in your terminal, execute Amplify, configure. The process will open the AWS website in your browser. Click sign in. And here, you can see that I'm hosting my AWS services in Ohio region, which is US East 2. And we need that value. Press enter. In the next screen, select the region. In our case, we are using US East 2. Hit enter. For this exercise, let's use amplify-react for the username. Again, it will open an AWS URL into your browser. And it will ask you to create an IAM account. So let's go to the users tab and let's add a new user and let's name it Amplify React 2 since I already have an Amplify React. Check the programmatic access, click next, attach existing policies directly, click next. Uh, but before clicking next, make sure to check the administrator access and click next. Click next and finally create the user. At the end of the process, make sure to download the CSV file because we will use the AWS key and ID inside this CSV file. Now back in the terminal, press enter. Next, let's enter the access key ID which is saved in the CSV file that we have downloaded. This is the secret key. Paste it here by right clicking. Enter. And the access key, which is this one. Slightly longer string. And again, right click to paste it in the terminal and hit enter. Let's use name, profile name dev. Hit enter. And finally, we have successfully created our Amplify e-user. It's now time to create our React project. Back in the terminal, type npx create react apt react amplify and hit enter. Let's try running our react project. Back in the terminal, let's go inside the project that we have just created and enter npm start. This will open the React project in our web browser. And as you would expect, it will show the default React project. Now let's initialize the Amplify library inside our project. And we can do that by executing Amplify init. We can use the default project name React Amplify and uh, it's the same, use dev. 
I'm using Visual Studio Code. So I'm selecting this IDE, JavaScript, React, press Enter, 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 and that's it. Give it some time to configure our project. Yes, we will use the dev profile. And now, let's install the Amplify React library. Again, back in your terminal, type npm install AWS Amplify at AWS Amplify for slash UI React. So we can use the React components from AWS Amplify. Hit enter. After we're done, let's open the project in Visual Studio Code. This is our React Amplify project. Let's set up the front end by modifying the file app.js and import the Amplify component and the AWS exports, which is this file. It contains the configuration of our AWS Amplify library. So here, here the AWS region is set to US East 2. In this section, we will add the AWS Amplify Oath module into our project. And we can do that again in the terminal by entering the command Amplify Add Oath. Now, there are other modules that we can add, like Grab and more. For this exercise, let's use the Oath. Let's use the default configuration. And let's use email for the login and let's not configure the advanced settings. So select, no, I'm done. This will build the AWS Amplify configuration in our local project, which we will push later into Amazon Amplify's remote service. And as instructed, let's execute Amplify push. Yes, and enter. Let's check the newly created resources in AWS console. Again, back in your terminal, execute Amplify console. And this is the logs of the React Amplify project that we have created. To go here, click the services menu and enter Amplify in the filter. And this is our project. Next, let's modify our project. And let's import the hook. Oh, and by the way, you can copy this uh, Amplify components in index.js with Authenticator. And now let's wrap our app component with with Authenticator. And let's try to start our React project. npm start. Since we wrap our app component with with Authenticator hook, it should redirect us to the login page. And this is the default login page provided by Amplify's library. Let's create a new account. Let's use my email, satsui at gmail.com. Password is password 63 because I live in the Philippines. 9152154713. Just a random number. And hit create account. You should receive a confirmation code. All right, this is the verification code. Click confirm. And now we are inside our React project. All right, maybe let's try adding a sign out button. Sign out. And let's delete the content of the main div and enter Amplify sign out. Let's add a new header. Welcome to Amazon Amplify. Now we need to add hosting so that we can publish our project into Amplify and that we can have a public URL that we can access anywhere on the internet. Again, back in the terminal, enter the command Amplify add hosting, select hosting with Amplify console, hit enter in the deployment option, let's select manual because our project is not connected to Git. And finally, as instructed, let's execute Amplify publish. Are you sure? Of course, we're sure. Yes, and hit enter. After publishing, let's check our console so we can get the public URL, which is exactly this one. 
Amplify Hosting or Amplify Console. And as we can see, the dummy name is D17F2, which is similar to this one, D17F2. Now let's try accessing this URL. Remember, earlier we have created a new user, Satsuya, and we can use that user to log in. What is our password? I think it's password. And let's sign in. Should be able to see the page with sign out button. And if you want to see the identity provider, you can do so by going to your AWS console, click services and search for Cognito. And this is the reason why we did not select the advanced setting. Because we can do that, we can change our user pools in this uh, page. So here are our clients and the domain name. And let's check the user that we have just created. It should have Setsuya at gmail.com as the email, which is correct. Now, what if we wanted to do code changes in our project? Let's try doing that. Welcome to ours, Amplify. Let's add a new line or a new word, version 2. And again, let's publish the change that we have. We can do that by executing, re-executing, Amplify, Publish. And then once we're done publishing, let's check our newly committed changes in the URL. Remember, we have added version 2, which as we see here. So there you have it. I have shared how you can create a continuous deployment using AWS Amplify for your React project. And that concludes this video. I hope you learned something from it and that you can incorporate this knowledge into your workflow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as I often upload programming related videos which might be helpful to you. You can also join our Discord group to participate in the discussion. So see you there!